I think banking is definitely one of, one of the last bastions standing. We can clearly see that everything that banks are doing is being done in a much better way by a technology company. If we think about music, you know, we're, we're used to getting all the music we want with Spotify. So the same kind of extends now to financial services. People want to get a cheaper, faster, better experience from their bank. We can see today that the tech companies have proven that they can offer certain verticals of financial services and do it much better than banks can do it. There is funding circles, there is lending club and many others providing peer-to-peer -peer lending and other, other new forms of credit. In money transfer, there's TransferWise. In asset management, there's various companies doing that. So the only thing that banks are still great at is keeping their money and taking deposits. I think we're starting to see a huge shift in people's willingness to trust the tech companies with their money and with other, other data. Today, we're, everyone is happy to trust Google and Twitter and all other companies with a lot of their private data. But I think also we're starting to see that people are willing to trust tech companies with their money. If maybe it was 1% of people who were willing to trust tech companies five or 10 years ago, you know, this growing to 20%, it's huge. I think the impact of disruption on the finance sector will be mostly felt on consumers and consumers getting much more choice, consumers getting much better services which are suiting their needs. We recently published a piece of research about the future of finance and we can see that there's a, a significant amount of people who expect to do all of their financial activities through a tech company in the future. So I'm excited to see that happen and I'm excited to, to make the world a tiny bit better by providing one of these services ourselves.